Now at 5, stop and shop workers are on strike for a second day. Most of the stores are open, but customers who want to shop have to cross picket lines. WBZ's Beth Germano is live in Somerville this evening with the very latest. Beth? Well, workers here are begging customers to shop somewhere else. And in this location, they're trying to prevent them from entering the parking lot. They are striking over wages, health care, retirement benefits, while the company insists the unionized workforce is already among the highest paid in the industry. A show of support for stop and shop workers on the picket line, without a contract and now without a paycheck. I'm comfortable right now, but I just hope it doesn't last that long. The unionized workers are at a stalemate after three months of failed contract negotiations. They feel a large corporation is profiting off them. With the proposal they have with the health care and, and the time and a half on Sunday, they take that away from me. They're going to take $300 out of my pocket every week. That's a part-time job. You bet. Thank you. We, we need fight it for all our families. We In Somerville, workers got some big-name support from presidential candidate Senator Elizabeth Warren, stepping into the labor dispute with a message to the company to be fair. Stop and shop makes billions in profits and then turns around and wants to squeeze its workers. Workers implored shoppers to take their business elsewhere, many crossing the line anyway. Oh, this is it. This is the closest to my home. Do you feel sympathy for the striking workers? No. Why? I don't, I don't know what they're striking about. And some stores like this one in South Boston forced to close altogether, leaving some customers with few alternatives. Milk and bread and something for supper tonight. In parking lots, carriages are left unattended as the stores are manned with a skeleton staff on limited hours. The workers are determined, but a prolonged strike makes some nervous. It does, because I might have to go look for some other job. Now, most stores are open, but at least here, we did see very few customers inside. The question in the coming days, will they be able to keep the shelves stocked as some unions who make deliveries say they won't cross the line? Reporting live from Somerville, I'm Beth Germano, WBZ News.